This Toyota Sports 800 was one of the highlights of the memory lane at the Dutch Toyota 50th anniversary last year. The car originates from Belgium and the owner is a Belgian Toyota dealer. He confirmed me that he has enough parts to build another one. Even though toying with the idea to sell it in the US market, Toyota actually only sold the Sports 800 in Japan. Now you may wonder why it can be that this car is a left-hand drive car. Did it get converted to the left-hand drive? No. This car is one of 300 that actually was built left-hand drive by Toyota. After World War II, the US took control of the Japanese island, Okinawa, and made the whole island drive on the right, meaning all cars should be left-hand drive. The US government returned control of the island already in 1972, but it took until the 30th of July 1978 until the island preferred to change and conformed to the Japanese standard of driving right-hand drive. The Sports 800 was the first true sports car created by Toyota and preceded the 2000 GT by two years. Many of the learnings Toyota got from the Sports 800 were carried over to the 2000 GT. During the Memorial Day, I heard several people say it featured a gas turbine engine, but this is not true. The misconception is because Toyota actually did build a Sports 800 hybrid that featured a gas turbine engine that powered an electric motor. But the standard Sports 800 is powered by the Toyota 2U engine, which is a flat 2 air-cooled engine with a special fan that sucks in the air and distributes the air evenly over the two opposed cylinders. Fun fact is that Toyota extended the U-Series engine with a 4U code to facilitate an engine code for the Subaru sourced flat 4 in the Toyobaru 86. After seeing this car I finally understood why many people want one. Even though it's small, underpowered and many modern Toyota has better road capabilities than this car, it still didn't lose its magic. It may be small, but it actually is the fun. It may be underpowered, but that actually is the fun. It may be cornering terribly compared to a modern Corolla, but mastering any corner in this car is actually the fun. The whole car is fun to drive. <laughs>